guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting i think this one will be definitely the last one christmas painting and some the christmas decoration painting so i will be painting a couple of bulbs and finally i got myself the that ruler with the circles i was always just looking what can i use to do the circles so i got then this ruler and I've drew in three circles for my balls, bulbs, and then afterwards added that little thing that goes on top, which has a string in it, and then privet my paper completely. I've mixed some, I think this is blue, a violet, a lot of violet, and this this is something like a burnt sienna and black to get this, well, this beautiful purple color and also i mixed in the blue this one is mix of uh, blue violet little bit of violet and black and then with this larger brush i've tapped in the paint mixing all of those colors that i have prepared on my paper and then again sprinkled some paint sprinkled some clean water and on top of it sprinkled some salt I'm not using a lot of salt, just a little bit to get this beautiful effect. And also, well, this will be a subtle effect with the salt, but I actually do love it. As you can see right now, that is dry completely. When you use salt, you have to dry afterwards, leave your paper to dry completely. Don't use it with a hair dryer because it won't be the same as when you leave it to dry naturally, then the salt does its magic. So when it did dry, I just rubbed off the salt and then moved on to painting my bulbs. And this time I'm using just a white gouache or just if you have a little bit more opaque white, you can use that white to paint in the bulbs. And as you can see, I've painted them quite subtle and for the first layer. And then on top of it, I've just added a lot of white because when it started to dry, it was too too light. So I just had to use a little bit more of that white and to make it just a um, to make it slightly darker because when it dries it will be quite light and it won't be so visible it will also be a little bit transparent so just keep that in mind when you're using white it when it dries it does get a lot of lighter and also i've uh, picked up a little bit of that blue mix that i made and went on top of it on that white gouache to paint in some edges that lower right edge of the bulb to make that one a little bit darker make it look as though it is in shadow and afterwards i've painted with the black that string and that little thing that the string is attached to and then left it to dry completely afterwards when it dried i'm using some white gel pen to add in some doodles and you can see i went around that string on the top and also did some doodles on my bulbs you can do whatever doodles you like you don't have to do the same design as i did just do whatever you like and doodle on your bulbs just the way you like it and afterwards when again finished with that i've added a little bit of white on the bottom and then picked up a lot of white gouache i'm picking up a lot a lot white gouache and then added some sprinkles also i did wanted my sprinkles to be slightly larger so with that white gouache in my brush i've just tipped it slightly into the water to pick up a little bit more paint and then sprinkled it and that is how i got those larger splatters and then added a little bit more white gouache at the bottom. And with that, I'm done. This is quite simple and easy and fast. If you need a last minute card or last minute decor for your gift, this one is, I think, perfect. And with that, I'll be finishing off. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would really, really, really mean a lot to me. And maybe consider joining my channel. That's a join next to the subscribe button. Click on that. Listen to the offer and decide. Again, thank you so much, guys, for all your support. And I really do appreciate that a lot. Thank you for cleaning, clearing up my shop and everything. Basically, all the palettes are sold out. So thank you so much for your purchases. And again, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.